Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you know, I absolutely love Lexus GX. In fact, we own two 2023 Lexus GX 460s. This is one of them. So you know how much I really care about this product. It's built in Japan at the Tower factory. It's got a good old fashioned V8 engine and so forth. But regardless of how much I like this version of the GX, is a whole new version revealed, which is the 2024 Lexus GX with many, many improvements over the 2023. So this is a bit of a difficult video because I love my GX so much, but I'm going to be fully transparent and be honest, and I'm going to have to admit the 2024 is better than the 2023 GX. In fact, I'm going to give you seven reasons why I believe the new version is better than the current version. Now, before we get into the seven reasons, I also want to point out how excited I am that the new GX has a new trim level called the Over Trail. This is sort of like a TRD Pro version of the Lexus GX with true off-road capable equipment and features, including a 33-inch all-terrain tires wrapped around 18-inch black wheels, as well as all the stuff that we expect in a true off-road capable SUV, such as crawl control, downhill assist control, 3D multi-terrain monitor system, and even a rear locking differential in addition to center differential. This is truly the most exciting version of the Lexus GX, at least for me who really would like to go off-roading. Now let's get back into the story about the seven reasons why the new version is better than the old version. Welcome back. Now you know how much I love Lexus GX in general because I own several models leading up to this one, which is a 2023. And I do believe that this is the most mature, most proven, and most reliable GX ever made. But having said that, I'm going to fully admit the new version is better than this one in many different ways. In fact, seven different ways. The first reason why I do believe the 24 is better than the 23 version is the fact that they had to re-engineer the whole thing from scratch. So now the 2024 Lexus GX is based on the new TNGA-F platform, which is a global platform for Lexus and Toyota that includes everything from Land Cruiser 300 series to Tundra to Sequoia and now the Lexus GX. And this is a proven and a very reliable and extremely well engineered platform that takes into account things like rigidity, reliability, quality, as well as overall improved performance. It's a lighter system that has a really good solid engineering underneath designed to give you the ultimate performance. So I know that the entire body is more rigid and that will allow to have a better design and overall better engineering. It is still built in Tahara factory in Japan, so you don't have to worry too much about quality changes. It should be just as well built as the 2023, although maybe in the first year or two, there could be some teething issues. So we know that quality will still be there, but now the entire body engineering design is improved. I even like the actual design of the new GX better than the current one. It has more of a rugged look, much more modern, it borrows many design cues from the likes of a Range Rover or Defender type models. So you know what, it really just pops out in front of you. The current GX was always a good looking vehicle, but it definitely looks outdated compared to the new GX. But most of all, I think the engineering behind the new GX is the most impressive of all. So that's my first point why the 2024 is better than 2023. The second advantage of the 2024 compared to 2023 is the overall performance. Even though I love the V8 engine in the current 2023 GX because it's so smooth and everything, there's no question that the new version will outperform the old one because there's more power, more torque, and due to turbocharged engine, the peak output for torque and power will happen at much lower RPM. So you're going to feel the improved acceleration right away when you step on the gas compared to the current or older GX with the V8 engine. Also, because the structure is more rigid, the suspension has been improved all around. It's going to handle much better than the 2023. Now, because the uh, current version of GX uses hydraulic power steering, I actually like the way it feels on the road. It has a good feedback and also a good sense of which way the car is pointing. But having said all that, it is still a little bit numb and loose overall, whereas the new version should, theoretically speaking, have a better handling, better agility, and also cornering. Now, none of us have really driven the new GX, so we won't be able to tell you that exactly until such time that we can drive one. But if all of the engineering that I have seen so far in the 24 version is true, then it will definitely have better overall handling and performance. I expect the zero to 60 times to improve quite a bit, maybe as much as 10 to 20%, just because once again of the high output, 
high torque rating that you get at low RPM. And you're going to really feel that when you step on the gas. Now let's get into some details here. The new 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine with a 10 speed automatic transmission has 349 horsepower, uh, outperforming uh, the current V8 engine, which has 301 horsepower, which is reasonable. But the biggest difference is the fact that the torque has improved massively to a whopping 479 pound foot. Again, this is due to the fact that we have a twin turbo V6 engine as opposed to a naturally aspirated V8 engine. And of course, we will later on have a hybrid version that will have a massive amount of power and torque as well, much like what we've seen in the new Tundra and Sequoia. But that model will not be announced yet, and therefore we don't know the final numbers for power or torque. So right now I'm standing in front of my 2023 GX, and we have this beautiful V8 engine, 4.6 liters, that is absolutely smooth and refined, but this thing is a gas guzzler. There's no question that you're not going to be happy in terms of how much gas you end up spending when you own this uh, GX with a V8 engine. Whereas the 2024 Lexus GX has much more efficient and improved powertrain, because obviously it's downsizing the engine, but also it's using turbocharged to give you that extra power and torque while dramatically improving efficiency. Even though we might not have the official numbers yet for the fuel efficiency and fuel economy, I know for sure it's going to be a dramatic improvement simply because the GX with a V8 engine is a real gas guzzler. So for those of you who don't want to use too much money on the gas or really want to see their gas bill go down, you're going to love the 2024 Lexus GX. And on top of that, a really good news is the fact that the GX will indeed be offered with a hybrid system much like the one that's used in the current Tundra and Sequoia. So that one will have a boost in additional power and torque. And we don't know exactly when that is coming. Lexus just simply says that that's uh, coming later on. But it's a really uh, amazing news for those people who want to maintain a good efficiency and have amazing amount of power and torque. So that is also very exciting news. The fourth point I want to make is that the new GX have so much more technology and features than the current one. Even though the 2023 GX and earlier models did have reasonable amount of technology, including updates they made back in the 22 timeframe, there's no question that the new version with a bigger infotainment system and newest software behind it is way better than the current one if you want the latest gadgets and latest features and technology. So for example, the new version has a full digital cluster, the biggest infotainment system you can have in the Toyota Lexus lineup, and it has a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compared to the current GX, which has a wired Apple CarPlay, which is a bit annoying. And those are just some of the features that have been updated for 2024 GX. There's so many new features that I can't name all of them. But if you love gadgets and technology, you're going to love the 2024 GX. And by the way, some of these new technology is to do with the safety system, which has been upgraded to Lexus Safety System 3.0. But I'll talk about that a little bit later on. The fifth reason why 24 is better than 23 is the improved comfort features. I actually do like the general comfort of the 2023 GX, but you know what? Things like the seat comfort, the roominess, the overall packaging efficiency, as well as how the third seat works in the GX, those are things that are not the best in the current version of the GX, because again, the design goes all the way back. That's more than a decade ago. So obviously you can't compare to the newest technology that is really maximizing the comfort. We even get the full panorama roof, which was never offered in the GX, along with many other comfort features that should greatly increase the overall comfort for both the driver and the passenger. We even get a digital smart key, which will work with your smartphone so that you can actually only use your smartphone to lock and unlock and do other things uh, with your vehicle. And you can actually share that with a friend or a family member so that uh, they also can lock and unlock and so forth uh, without having to physically give the key to someone else. Those are some of the new technologies that we can see. The sixth point I want to make is that the 2024 GX has better and much improved safety equipment and safety features than 2023, which is obviously expected. Now, there wasn't anything inherently wrong with the 2023 Lexus GX safety features, but the 24 has some very important safety features that will improve things like pedestrian detection, as well as detecting many other potential accidents. So the newest version of the Lexus safety system is offered, and that should theoretically prevent you from having accidents or hitting someone or hitting something. And those are things that may be happening in the background and you might not think about it, but they are obviously a very important part of a buying decision. So if you're the type of person who care about the safety and you want to minimize any potential conflict in terms of accident or issues, then obviously the new version of GX is better than the current version. 
For example, the new Lexus Safety System 3.0 now has pre-collision with pedestrian detection as well as lane tracing assist, lane departure alert with steering assist, road sign assist, and proactive driving assist. These are uh, some of the features that were not offered in 2023, but now come standard on the 2024 Lexus GX. The seventh and last point I want to make about the 2024 GX compared to 2023 GX might surprise you. And that is the newest version should give you better resale value down the road. How is that possible when the V8 engine has been dismissed for the new model and therefore people might be yearning for and longing for the V8 engine? Well, the history is such that as cars get better and better and more efficient, the older version always has a worse resale value. So in the case of GX, because the V8 engine might be desirable, but because it's also a gas guzzler, I would suspect in three, four, five, six years down the road, the newer GX will have a better resale value in the market because it's much more efficient and much more up to date. We've already seen this pattern with, let's say, Toyota Tundra, which went from V8 to V6. And even though we all said that the V8 engine will have better resale value than the V6, well, that didn't turn out to be the case. Typically speaking and historically speaking, the market usually not very kind to the vehicles in terms of resale value that has a really bad gas mileage. So that's my prediction that the new version will have a better resale value and a more demand for it over a longer period of time. So I just went through seven reasons why the new 2024 GX is better than the 2023. And that's despite the fact that I absolutely love the current version of the GX. And I don't know if personally I will actually end up selling the 2023 to buy the 2024, but there's no question the 2024 is better than 2023 in terms of those seven key things I talked about. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to actually drive the new GX and compare it back to back with my current 2023 GX. So that would be the final way to figure out whether the new version is truly, truly better and more desirable than the current version in terms of my preference. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and make some comments. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe? I would truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Until next video, I'm signing off for now.